did we meet? I'm sure everybody wants to know what is the initial story. Your story always has extra things that you like. Hi, my name is Ngobe Gombata. And I'm Dogo Zombambo. And in celebrating our 15th anniversary, we decided to let you in on a couple of secrets mm -hmm. and wonderful <laughs> memories that we share from our marriage mm. in hopes that they inspire you and encourage you to love mm. one another even more in your marriages. And yeah, mm -hmm. let the love flow. <laughs> So, how did we meet? I'm sure everybody wants to know what is the initial story. Your story always has extra things that, uh, that uh, are suspicious. But do, do you agree with my story? Uh, every now and then there's some edits going on. Who's edit? Am I editing? You! Maybe I'm, I keep on remembering things that I might have forgotten <laughs> from the previous chat about the story. How did we meet? Okay, you start. How did we meet? According to, um, according to me, I always known Dogo Zombambo as a musician, 15 year old. She's been 15 for, <laughs> I think she was 15 for 10 years and then she moved to 25 <laughs> for another couple of years. But I, I always knew her because I'm from Eskawin, which is like an hour and a half uh, from Durban, where she is from. So I guess I would see her, I, would, I, I don't even want to say we would meet I would say, because she was the most popular one at that time, she still is the most popular <laughs> one. <laughs> so, um, so I would hear about Togo Zombambo, who would say, I would say, I would say, I would say, I would say, so church conferences, concerts, music concerts. So I actually got to meet her. Oh wow, she's really, really amazing as a musician. So that's how I got to know her. But meeting, I think I really got to know her better when we, after we joined Joy Celebration, because I joined Joy Celebration in 2001, and I think you know, I don't think I know. You joined the same year. I did join the same, same year. Same year, <laughs> yes, yeah. And yeah. then um, I think after a few years of working together, what Joy Celebration, that's where I really got to meet her. Mm. Mm -hmm. And what did you think? Oh, okay. You was an interview, I mean. I mean, we're having a conversation. Might as well. Uh, so ask. I just. You you mean after the meeting there? Yeah. What did you think? So, so I I saw her among the first rehearsal. I got I get them like oh those members also here. Oh nice. Okay, sharp. Then we started working together, and then yeah, I was just a keyboard player, and she was the singer. <laughs> <laughs> and I think because of working together, I, we had a good working relationship. And I actually realized, you know, I can actually, um, yeah, <clears throat> she, she, she can be my friend because it all started as, as friendship, you know. So we started as good working colleagues mm -hmm. and then we became, became, became good. Oh, she says great friends, okay, I was gonna say good, so. Uh, great. Oh, you so, can't just say good. Okay, so we became <laughs> great friends. And then after that, I was like, no, we can take it a step up. Yeah, and then as the Lord was helping me and I reintroduced myself in the level of... Uh, in the level of... Of the... We then, that's how we met. Yeah, that's how we met. <laughs> <laughs> that was the question. The level I'm of going what? back to the question. That's how we met. It's the level of what? Let's not drag this. That's how we met. But true. Okay, there, yeah. is, there, is, a no, there is no particular day that yeah. we can pinpoint and say it was on such and such a day that we actually met. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a, I think it was like a progressive meeting, meeting. <laughs> a continuous mm. meeting because we'd see each other in churches church conferences yes. funerals birthday parties mm. um because i would be singing and he would be he, at back then you were in a group as well mm. um, a joy, a joy yes. which was a, a bunch of guys mm. that you went to versus you with and uh, one of your members was also a member in our group as well 
So, so it was just, you know, a meeting, a continuous Yeah, so, so we always met in all mm. these concerts and that's how we really got to see each other. And then we actually only started getting to recognize each other when we joined Joy Celebration. Did you? 2001? One. One, 2001, 2001. Yes. We joined the same year and we became great friends. Um, I remember my dad even asked you to teach me how to play the piano. Okay. Don't say okay. I don't, I don't, don't remember. remember. <laughs> I remember him <laughs> asking me to play for you when you do your performances. He even asked you to teach me how to play the piano. Mm -hmm. uh, but and then he went go. and taught me other things. How? There's not <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, but anyway, that's why my father was very, was very upset with me when he found out that we're getting married. Yes, man. Yes, he didn't yeah. speak to me for weeks um, because he was just being overprotective. Oh. I love you, Dad. He mm. said he said he felt betrayed. He said that on our wedding, <laughs> on our wedding day, during his speech, <laughs> my Dad said he felt betrayed because oh, he welcomed no. this young man into his home mm. um, to teach his daughter how to play the piano, and then this young man went and saw a wife mm. in his house. <laughs> mm. But the rest is history. Yeah. Fifteen years later, yeah. here we yeah, are. Yeah, we are. Yeah. But man, I think I'm really grateful. I think one of the things that really draw drew me to her was that I think she she's the kind of a person that I was like, I can live with this one. You know, the lifestyle, you know, the way I was raised. You know, when we talk about our backgrounds, most of the things are the same, almost the same, you know, just a few different things. But most of the most of the things are the same in terms of our bringing. We grew up from very strong Christian and musical families. Yeah. You know, I think we have a lot of things in common. Yeah. Uh, not to say we don't have differences. We do have differences and we work. Yeah. We work through them. I think uh, during our dating days, whether they days or months or years or... It was years. It was years, but <coughs> not too not long. Put, let's not put a number to it. Uh, it was not long. It was just short years of getting to really know to each other that. before we get into the marriage stage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Christian in a Christian way. Yes, in a godly way, <laughs> yeah. saints of God in a mm. godly way. Yeah. Um, but on my side, what really helped was that I told my mom from the onset and um, it was important for me to be accountable to someone, to an adult um, who would be like, I went to your boots. Mm. Um, this is how a uh, 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 Jesus girl behaves. This mm. is how you're supposed to live. Don't do this. Do this. Yes, I approve. I remember when I first told my mom that um, I was in love with you. She, So I was like, I, we were sitting in a bed, actually. Uh, my mom and I were best friends. So I, was, I asked her, uh, so ma, you know, what happens if in the future <laughs> there's this guy, you mm. know, and I like him and he likes me. Um, so would you want to know about it? And she said, yes, I would want to know about it. And I was like, okay. Well, there is a guy. There is somebody. Mm. And she's like, okay. Yeah, I know there's somebody. Mm. And I'm like, how, ma? Mm. <laughs> how do you know? Mm. And my mom said to me, because I'm a praying mother. That's how I know. The Holy Spirit will always let me know um, things about your life, life. even child, before yeah. you let me, you tell me about them. And I was like, ha. Huh? So I can't hide anything from you. She's like, nope. The Holy Spirit will always let me know first. So yeah, so accountability was so important to yeah. us as well. And uh, so that we make sure that our thing stays clean and it stays pure, because at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, we are representing okay, um, yeah. the kingdom of God. Yeah. For me, it was different. Though. I remember when, uh, so uh, we are already in a relationship, and also because of our work, we are in the spotlight. So I was like, hey, mm, we're not really ready to get married, but because of the kind of work that we do, people are talking now. Mm. I didn't want my parents to hear about it somewhere, somewhere else. Somewhere else. It, has, it had to come from me. Mm. So I decided uh, to take a bus from Joburg to, to Askawin. I, I actually called my father that I want to meet him. Yeah. So yeah, I said, then I get home. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, 
PK, first <laughs> SK. So I'm sitting here with my mother and my father. They're like, okay, you called us, what's happening? And uh, I'm like, um, <laughs> <laughs> so there's, there's a girl that I, I'm in love with, yeah. Oh, okay. No, no, no. There was no okay. There was silence. <laughs> because the way I was raised, we never spoke about these things with my parents. Maybe it's a little bit different with Ndogos, but with my parents, we never spoken about this. I think the only thing that I remember my father saying as far as relationships or marriage is concerned to us, because we we're four boys at home and one girl is like, no one here is going to get married before they reach the age of 25. Before then, you just focus on your school and yeah and your life and your relationship with jesus so i was above 25 i think it was a right time but it was difficult to tell my parents that there's a there's a woman that i'm in love with i remember after still telling that there was silence in the room just the three of us me and my mom and dad and a few minutes later my my dad comments about something that was happening on television <laughs> and i was like yo wrong move <laughs> i was not supposed to do this thing like this one like the way i did it and a few minutes later my mom says to dad uh, the child is speaking say something, say something. and my because the mom's always bail yeah i know she really did bail me out and and my father said no 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 you talk first i'm going to wrap it up at the end of the conversation i feel like my father was running away from <laughs> this this issue this serious <laughs> issue because i was the first one to actually get married at home and then my mother started asking me so who's this girl and where is she from and they already knew there was Mbambo, so they knew they knew about the family as well because she's from the family of pastors so uh, most of the people in case i didn't know the family Mbambo family so it was kind of scary, you know, really, even for my family, like, oh, wow, hey, Jesus Christ, uh, these are great people, these are big people, what are going to do? And my father was like, no, 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 they're going to be okay, it's going to be okay, <laughs> you know. So that's how I introduced it to my father. And then a few months later, he's expecting us to be introduced to a church, to, into, the into the congregation that we're dating. Uh, in, uh, for where we come from, they call it Paranis. Uh, Yo! Uh, uh, uh. And I was like, I'm not ready to do that, you know. <laughs> I would want to go to Paranis where when I've went to the fam, my uncles have gone to the family, you know, yeah. when it's official in the families first. So I kept on avoiding my father when he makes phone calls because I knew I was not ready. <laughs> you know, he was putting pressure, you know. And I do understand, you know, that when, when, when you're a Christian and you're in a relationship, uh, if you want to do things right, you know, I think you are, you, when you are a Christian and decide to get into a relationship, you've already put yourself under pressure, mm -hmm. you know, to get married, you know, you'd rather not get into a relationship because once you get into the relationship, you know, as far as how we were raised, you have to get married because they ask you, what are you waiting for? You yeah. know, you're going to allow other things to come into your way and, you know, just spoil this beautiful thing that is happening, you know, so few months later I realized that I was ready and that I called my father okay I'm ready now you know and then <laughs> he made the arrangements for for him and and and, and the uncles to go to the bamboos mm -hmm. yeah man but it was scary and mm -hmm. also exciting it really was <laughs> mm. I'm still not okay with the fact that you didn't really propose I did but but you know it, this thing is really really confusing how do I because <laughs> the proposal is supposed to have an element of Surprise, Surprise. Nah. <laughs> but how do you do that one when you have already paid the lobolas and <laughs> it's official? She knows that I'm gonna marry her. No, but you just said we were sitting and you said, Hey, <laughs> oh my lord, but how should we do it? I'm really, really confused. I feel like not in a bad way, you know, <laughs> this, um. Not in a bad way, Basalwan. Western culture, sometimes they clash with yeah, our culture. Because the, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, as far as I, the way I was raised, I can't propose her before her parents know about us. Yeah. You know. So when I propose after that, there's no surprise. There's yeah, the element of surprise is ruined already. And I can't just put a ring on her without her parents knowing. They're going to be asking, what's Magic. happening? <laughs> So I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a confusing. I don't know how our kids are gonna deal with this, you know. I have no because idea. Because I'll also, I'm a father of girls. I'll ask like, 
manje. And then you you have a ring now. What's happening? <laughs> we don't know anything about this. Who are these people? Yeah, where do they come from? Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's how I justify my so, actions. So I must just accept it and be okay. I'm sorry. Uh, if you still have a couple of years, maybe you can propose again. Oh, that one will be. That one can be a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All okay. right. All right. Sure. Mm. Okay. And we moved on there, eh? yeah. and then we became, we started planning the, how many, how many functions were there before we actually got married? So I will count the day, the first day of, 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 of the Lobolos. Salobola. Yeah. Wow. It was a, the lo, the, that, that was an event. Oh, yeah, it all. becomes an event <laughs> because the Mbambos had to host us. Yeah, and my yeah. family is big, I'm Yeah, a big family. So Walobola. Yeah. And then a few months later. I had to come back and bring the uh, gifts. Ibis. Ibis. Yeah. That, that's an event. That's an event as well. Mm -hmm. um, where your family gives gifts to my yes, family. Yes, the Mbatas basically. came and they gave. Um, and then after that, Sahambisa Umbondo. Yeah, they came to the Mbatas um, now. We brought groceries. Basically, yeah. they were saying that's um, the food that I'm going to cook. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it. A lot of it, yeah. So we put we, Sahambisa Umbondo. Scaling. After that, yeah. um, was a warm shot. Yeah, after that we had a wedding. white wedding. Yeah. Yeah, and then the following day, immediately the following day, then we had the umabo, which yeah, is which is not traditional. Yeah, traditional yeah. Traditional the matters. Yeah. 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 yeah, but planning, ish, man. I, I, I'm actually realizing that we were just too young. You know, I think we were, we just fell in love. We, yeah. we're not even. I don't know how things are done now. I always feel bad for the people who are getting generation. married today because they have to calculate everything. For us, not everything was really, really calculated. Sometimes I ask myself, how did she say yes? I'm just thinking about what I was earning at that time. <laughs> no. It's like, okay, I can pay the rent and buy some groceries. Then I, I can take care of her, you know. But when I look at it now, I'm telling your brother, I was... Nothing. Th there was nothing there, <laughs> you know. I had a place to stay. I did, oh, I had a car. Yeah, I, yeah. Shame. But by the time we got married, that car was, was broken. broken. <laughs> we never had a car. And my plan was that I'm not gonna get married before I have a car. I think every man <laughs> would love to say that. But my car just got broken as I was planning for 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 the, for, wedding. For the wedding. So I remember during those days, my brothers would drive me around. They would yeah. borrow me their cars. Oh Jesus. And when we were dating, you didn't even have a car. Yeah, when so we started, you yeah. Yeah, no, no. Oh, no. Ah. oh, baby. It was real. We would be in Texas together. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> we would say Texas. Oh, Jesus together. Christ. We I, come a I, long I, way, man. No, we come, we come a long way. And, and sometimes we'd be hiding for Abazalwan. <laughs> you know, in, hey, Abazalwan, dating in Deppen was difficult because Abazalwan, they're, they're all over. <laughs> and the other thing, you don't want to to do your things in the hiding because you're avoiding the temptation there. Yeah. So you want to do things in public areas. Yeah. Hey, but there's too much Bazalwan. And they know us. Hey, oh, how oh, you guys I bless mean. us so much. Really? Like, oh my God. And he's trying to stand over there and they're like, no, how oh, are oh, you? Oh, yeah. It was like that. Oh, Lord, yeah. Hot. But the Lord was with us. Yes, yes. Yeah. Look, look at us now. <laughs> <laughs>